I used Swift Air, which is the only airline operating at the moment from um, Leo Airport in Manila. Swift Air. It's a, I think, a 42 seater, and I think you also get a 72 seater. What's up? Uh, so I've just been to my favorite, most favorite uh, store in the world. And that is the DJI store. Hey! <laughs> Alright guys, I gotta come clean on something. Uh, my drone seems to be damaged. That's my Mini 2 drone. I'll tell you all about it now. Alright, so I don't think it seems to be damaged. I think it is damaged. But it fell in the water. And normally when something like this falls into the water, that's it. That's curtains. So, I came to the store. They're actually a repair uh, um, office. So they do sell units. They do, um, uh, they are resellers as well. But then they do repairs. And I thought because they are in Manila and they're close to where I'm staying, I'll just bring it through to them uh, before I go to my hotel. So I literally just stepped off the plane. And I haven't even been to my accommodation yet. I just stepped off the plane, came here straight away, and handed my drone to them and said, hey guys, perform a miracle and just fix this baby for me, man. I'm so sad, guys. Honestly, I was really, really sad when this thing happened. Uh, I'm going to get into the details about it, but all I can say is... I got distracted, I don't blame anybody else, <laughs> I should have kept my eyes on the prize man, so it's nobody else's fault, it's my own, but it happened right at the start of a, of a island hopping tour and that kind of put a damper on the whole tour for me. I mean I finished the tour, uh, we carried on, we did what we had to do during the day, so that was fine, but I couldn't get any shots in, man, and I was so much wanted to show you some of those aerial shots. I got the drone up inside the lagoon, and but the minute I got it up, I got distracted by someone who was persistently calling me, and I was trying to ignore them, but this person was calling me all the time, and I probably looked away for two seconds. I let the drone hover. And then that very moment, there was a gust of wind. And that wind blew it right into a branch that was going out from the cliffs at the big lagoon. And it only took a few seconds, guys. I saw this thing fall out of the sky. Man, it was like watching something happen and you were, you were totally, your hands were tied. You couldn't do a thing about it. It was sad, guys, honestly. I was probably about maybe five meters, maybe between five and ten meters away when I saw this thing. If there hadn't been water and rocks between us, I probably would have run and, and uh, to take a dive to actually catch this thing wasn't to be. And so the hope that I have is that these guys, they have been fixing drones that were damaged by water before. So there is hope, but it just depends on the extent of the damage. If there's already corrosion, then that's, that's definitely a sign that it can't be repaired. So 
I left it with them. They told me it needs to stay there for about three days. And I said, look, I don't have three days. I'm leaving in two days. And then they said, okay, they'll work on it immediately. And they will give me a call tomorrow. And they will let me know if this thing can be salvaged or if that's it. If I, if I should call my bank manager. Hey, man. Well, guys, I've been through stuff for that drone, man. The drone is called Vanguard. <laughs> that was the name, Vanguard and I. Wow. But anyway, so guys, not all is lost. Um, if, if I don't get to uh, get that one fixed, I'm just going to have to get a new one because I need the drone. My brother gave the name Vanguard. So, I mean, obviously now you know that he's sad as well. Because uh, we've been out flying the drone, we've been having so much fun together, flying the drone, getting in some shots, going on some excursions. And also the technician was telling me that so many people lost their drone in the exact same spot. I mean, I don't know if it makes me feel better. Um, but at least it doesn't make me feel inadequate. <laughs> Right, because uh, he says the same thing happened to people because um, you, know, you generally lose connection in the lagoon and a lot of people actually just lose connection completely and the drone would then fly off and eventually run out of battery and then fall into the water because I mean you're surrounded by water and beach and ocean and mountains and trees and rocks so the conditions really weren't that favorable but I wanted to get those shots in man the repair shop is like 15 minutes away from my Airbnb so it's not too far, I can just walk back up there and go and chat to them. They don't sell refurbished units, un unfortunately. So uh, it'll have to be a new one. But then again, I also want to check what my, uh, what my insurance with DJI uh, covers. Because they have the, uh, the care refresh program which I'm a part of, so I just want to check what is covered in that if water damage is covered as well. I know normally it's the, uh, when the drone flies off and you lose it, that is not, uh, that, that is covered generally. Right, so we had Hey guys, so I'm staying at this cozy little Airbnb in Makati, in uh, Manila. Yeah, and so that was $22 a night. $22 and I'm staying for two nights. That's amazing, guy. It's got a nice queen size bed. Uh, it's got a little working desk as well. Some nice paintings on the wall. It looks really cozy. And uh, some nice decorations as well. And of course, AC, there you go. And then also has a nice big mirror and it's got beautiful sized TV. And then breakfast is included as well. So for $22, you get all of these plus breakfast, really nice. All right guys, so I've settled into my Airbnb and now I just wanna get something to eat. So I'm really hungry. Let's see what McCarthy's got to offer. Right. So I see Subway and then I also see Wendy's right next to Starbucks in the distance. Right, so uh, we have some American franchises here. burger now actually that wouldn't be too bad mm -hmm. 